We all know how the music industry works, don't we? You send an A&R your demo tape, they immediately sign you, give you a $10 million five album deal. You bring out an album that goes number one in every country in the world. Then you spend a few years playing increasingly bigger venues than arenas and you top it off with a rock and roll hall of fame induction, right? Not exactly. In October 2018, I put out a video on giving up my record label dream. Having that dream, and it was a dream of mine when I was younger because that's all you, that's all you kind of know as a musician when you're growing up and trying to write pop songs. Music is just like this thing that I want to be doing for the rest of my life. This video was based around two separate conversations I'd heard with the entrepreneurs Gary Vaynerchuk and Scooter Braun and then also an Instagram Live with John Mayer and Cautious Clay. At the time, it felt like exactly what I needed to hear to continue pursuing and working hard to get to be an independent artist. I had a full-time job at the time, so I just thought I'd revisit the topics almost four years on, and I'm independent. And no one is knocking on the door because the music industry has moved on from YouTube to TikTok. Since then, John Mayer has left Columbia Records, announced in March 2022. And while we don't know exactly what his next move is, obviously I'd put money on him becoming a YouTube sensation. Nah, I imagine he'll have a, a different kind of infrastructure around him, maybe another label, but maybe a different kind of deal as it looked like he needed more freedom to work with other artists. Cautious Clay remains independent and released a studio album in 2021. His song Cold War was also sampled on the song London Boy by Taylor Swift for her seventh studio album Lover. That is a huge win. And I've released my Lone Wolf EP, two volumes of my songbook project, and I'm currently recording my debut studio album here in Barcelona. Totally self-funded with your help, of course, via my Patreon page and core sales and even the AdSense from you watching this video. So what is my issue with major labels? In traditional record companies or these big labels, artists sell the rights to their music in exchange for a royalty and the label takes care of promotion, distribution and all the financials. The artist almost completely cedes control of all aspects of their record and money from sales of their music goes towards the running and the upkeep of the label from warehousing and advertising to staffing and their salaries and pensions. Now, it's true that major labels like Sony, Warner Music, and the Universal Music Group can serve certain artists really, really well. They have huge marketing budgets for promotion of their artists and have enormous reach and power. Major labels themselves are often owned by parent companies, huge corporations with thousands and thousands of employees. They are businesses based on year-on-year -year growth, and this is best achieved by increasing volume of artists, i.e. looking for the hot new thing, or focusing on their heavy hitters. If you're somewhere in the middle, you're likely to be lost among the crowd. It is layers upon layers of management and bureaucracy. For every passionate a &R person looking for their favorite new band, there are accountants scrutinizing every penny spent and every record sold, ready to pull the plug should the release not meet up to their expectations. What makes an artist independent? The term independent basically covers any musician not signed to a multinational record label or one of its subsidiaries. Independent artists can be further divided into the following. Number one, completely DIY acts who upload their own songs to streaming sites like Spotify or YouTube using distribution services like TuneCore or DistroKid. Artists retain control of 100% of their creative output, but they're responsible for everything, from recording to promotion and marketing. Two, semi-independents who have label services deals. Artists work with firms who lend their expertise in return for a fee, helping with marketing, stock distribution and promotion. Artists aren't signed to a long-term deal and still retain ownership of their copyrights. Then, artists signed to smaller, independent record labels, sometimes run by one to two people, sometimes larger. These are small to small to medium-sized enterprises run by people who really love what they're doing. Some artists choose to set up their own record labels in order to release their own work. I'm a strong believer that a direct connection with your audience is the most valuable thing you can spend your time on. If you build your audience yourself, then it's your community and not the labels. Let's take a moment to consider traditional media. When you're starting out, you might be encouraged to pay for a radio promoter to get your song 
on the radio, funnily enough, that might run into the region of $1,500 to $6,000 for three to 12 weeks of work. And consider how you find new music or bands. If not through radio, then why put your money there? If you do get played, you might get played once. You might get a week if you're lucky. It's ephemeral. That's not a good return on your investment when you could spend that money on a music video that stays online forever or building up a catalog of YouTube videos that keeps generating AdSense revenue behind the scenes. This radio promoter is now shifting into playlist promoters because if you get featured on the Spotify or Apple Music playlists that people are subscribed to, you'll automatically get hundreds of thousands, if not millions of streams. But the system is rigged because these playlists are owned by the major labels and obviously prioritize their own artists. You might end up paying 2K to hire a PR agent who promises to promote you as an artist and send your music to their press contacts. But again, this guarantees nothing. I have worked with several PRs over the years and there's always been some reason as to why me and my work haven't made it to the press. Royal wedding, presidential election, Adele or Justin Bieber have released new records, so all news is focused on them. Always excuses, and it's hugely frustrating and a total waste of money. Any publications that have covered me in the last few years have done so because of what I've produced on YouTube, i.e. my John Mayer video. I've learned a lot in the years since that first video came out. My advice, the more layers between you and your audience, the worse off you will be. And the more your career is in someone else's hands, the less control you have. Major labels are run by people with a lot on their plates who will prioritize their top earners and double down on works for them. That means focusing on the artists who fit into certain categories and have the most mass market appeal. There is little room for experimentation, taking your time to learn your craft or making mistakes. Chance the Rapper, Nine Inch Nails, Kylie Minogue, Lizzo, Frank Ocean, and now maybe John Mayer, you only need to look at the proliferation of top draw artists choosing to forge their own independent path to get confirmation that this is the way to go. You're nimble, you're able to react quicker, and you don't have anyone telling you what to do. In traditional media, you are at the mercy of layers and layers of professionals who tell you this is how it works, who wade in and say, that's not the single, or you need to make an album over releasing individual tracks. It may be a way of doing it, but it's not the only way anymore. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I really, really appreciate that. Um, I know it's cliche, but if you aren't subscribed, it would be amazing if you could click that button. It's totally free and really helps me out. Another thing that's free is signing up to my newsletter. Check out the link in the description below. Then if you're feeling super generous, check out my online courses and my Patreon page as they're how I support this channel and my studio album being made. But as always, I will be seeing you here again on YouTube very, very soon.